Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, we talked about it a week or two ago where there's this uh, weirdness happening where when you go to Windows Update uh, and you have 25H2, you notice that it wants to reinstall 25H2, and you already have it, so it's kind of weird, and of course it always ends up with an error message. Now, a few of you have told me, um, give me hints of things happening and how you fixed it, uh, including like, you know, re-registering for the Windows Insider program, things like that. Um, and I had not noticed, but when I looked at my gaming laptop that has that flaw, I noticed that when I go to Windows Insider program, I was on a release preview. It didn't show me that it was there anymore. It actually told me, get started, as if I was never in the Insider program. So it kind of removed itself from the release preview ring. And this is what happens. This is all of you that have the 25H2 that shows up again and that doesn't install because it has an error message. You were on the release preview ring and got boot it out for some reason, so you have to actually get back in it. So what I did is um, I went, of course, to Windows Updates by the settings, and to the Windows Updates, I went to the Windows Insider program. And here, I instead of seeing that I was on a release preview, there was a big button that said Get Started. You're going to click the Get Started button. Once that happens, it's going to actually ask you to log in with your Microsoft account that you're using to be in the Insider program. Once that happens, of course, you'll choose Release Preview again. To make sure that you choose the correct ring, you will choose Release Preview when it is going to show you where you want to be. Once that is done, it's going to ask you to restart, and you do it. You restart the PC. Now, after restart, you'll notice that that offer of 25H2 is still there. So what happened to me is when I went there and I saw that you know 25H2 wanted to install again, all it was actually asking is for me to restart to install the update, I clicked restart. I let it do what it wanted to do. And of course, it ended up with an error message. But this time, what I did is check for updates or retry because it will ask you to retry. Retry, and it's going to check for updates, and you'll notice that it disappears, and that you're okay after that. So it's a lot of little steps, but it actually works. And um, in fact, it actually restarted and uh, found that it um, was downloading the Windows Insider, uh, pr the Windows Preview updates that were uh, available, and they weren't showing up because of that error message. So restart, make sure you're in the Insider program in the release preview. Again, um, retry when it makes an error message after you've re-registered here. And once that is done, you will, um, of course, click the retry button, and it's all, everything is going to come back to normal, and you'll be okay. So this is how it fixes the problem. So it's really a problem that is mostly for those in the release preview. For some machines, for some reason, you got out of the release preview. Uh, this is why this machine doesn't have that problem, the machine I'm using now, because it stayed in release preview, so it didn't have any problems. Uh, it's really just my gaming laptop that for some reason removed itself from the release preview um, and the Insider program. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.